Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Darius from DariusCooks.tv, and I have yet another super simple, easy weeknight meal that you're going to love, and it cooks up in no time flat. It is my shrimp and crab risotto with lemon and peas. Just perfect for this time of year. Let me show you how we do it. So the first thing I've got working out is I've got some large shrimp that are peeled and deveined right here, right? So I just wanna add a little bit of seasoning, not a lot, because we're gonna grill these up. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of salt right on the shrimp and then a little bit of pepper. And then hanging out over here, I got some of this lovely dried Italian seasoning that's got all the herbs mixed in, along with a good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, just like that. All right, and then I'll get a spoon and give it a stir. All right, and then we'll let these shrimp hang out until it is time to grill them up. All right, let me show you what I got working out over on the stoves. First of all, I got my grill pan getting nice and warm. I've got a nice Dutch oven, heavy bottom skillet that I'm going to just start to heat up. And I'm gonna start by adding in some olive oil. All right, so to the olive oil now, I've got some diced onion, diced bell pepper, and diced celery just to get the party started. All right, right to the skillet, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some garlic paste as well. All great flavor bases. All right, and then we're gonna season this really well with salt and pepper. All right, so after a few minutes of this cooking down and smelling really good, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some white wine. All right, now to the white wine, I'm also gonna add in some chicken stock as well, so we'll put a little bit of that in. Also to this, I've got a half a stick of butter that I'm gonna get right in here as well. And then it's a good time to season this right now. So I've got some more of that dried Italian herbs. Those are gonna go in there. For a little more garlic flavor, I've got some garlic powder. That's gonna happen. And of course, I dare not make a risotto without a little bit of ground fennel. So we'll add a little bit of ground fennel right into here. All right, let's give that a quick stir. I promised you a lemon risotto, and I'm gonna come through with that. So first, I'm gonna do the zest of a lemon right into this liquid. So if I'm going to use uh, the zest, right, might as well add in the juice. So I'm just gonna split these lemons open. So I'm gonna use the juice of two lemons for this. And of course, I put it into a, a bowl first so I could kind of strain it and keep the seeds out. All right, this smells amazing. I'm just gonna do a little chicken bouillon for a little more flavor. And a little instant rice with a broth that looks and smells like this is going to be perfect because nobody has all day with arborio rice to stir, stir, stir. Five minutes, you're done, all right? All right, now while that's working out, let's talk about these shrimp that have been marinating. These shrimp are juicy, plump, they're ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them right in our grill pan. We already oiled them up, so they're ready to go. All right, so the risotto is looking good. Shrimp, they're looking perfect. I wanna now add a little bit more love to the risotto. So I'm gonna do that with some heavy cream right in here. I've also got some mascarpone cheese that's gonna go in here as well. All right, and then I'll finish up with a little bit of Pecorino Romano cheese right in here at the end. All right, we'll give it a good stir. We'll lower the heat so it can finish cooking nice and gently. All right, so the risotto is looking good. It's smelling good. Now, I did promise you crab with lemon and green peas, so let's go ahead and do that now. So I saved the crab for the end. This is lump crab meat. It's gonna go right in here, which is gonna go so great with that lemon. And then we'll add in a couple of handfuls of just frozen green peas. All right. And then I'll cut the heat off and just let the residual heat warm the peas all the way through while I get a bowl because it's time to eat. All right, so the last thing I wanna do before I decide to go ahead and dig in is just do a little thinly sliced 
a scallion right on top. I feel like this needs a little bit of freshness and scallion is gonna give it that. All right, so here is this lovely, delicious bowl of lemon risotto with shrimp and peas and, and crab. And, oh man, look at that. I'll put a few of these shrimp right on top, just like that. We'll pile it high. All right, we'll do a little bit of scallion right on top. Just like that. A little bit of black pepper. So, uh, it's time to eat. I mean, I wish you could smell it because then you know that this smells amazing. And look at this. This is like big, juicy, lump crab. There's delicious amounts of lemon zest floating through here. Mmm, the crab is super tender. Big jumbo shrimp. You gotta give it a try. We have to. Recipes like this. You know where to find them. On my website, it's DariusCooks.tv. Two things I gotta tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life, it's my food. Until next time, I gotta wish you happy cooking. From my heart to yours. Bye, y'all.